Everybody, welcome back. It's a scary time for me. The last video of the day, I thought to myself, should I do one more? Here I am. Seg M 6 ck 3 Oh, baby. Soon. Soon. Um, and this run, honestly, has no problem. The only reason I was a little bit perturbed... Many, many times. More times than I'd like to admit. I've thought, hey, let's do one more video. And then I do the video, and... Uh, I die, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, all I had to do was not record, and I would be in a better place. How does that work? Well, at least I'd be in a, a place where I uh, had the streak going still. But this run is starting well. I got no complaints about our current state of affairs. I was going to say, I know you dip, and then why would you even risk it there? Why would you risk it? There was no risk in it for the biscuit. If there's no biscuit, why would you risk it? What are you doing? What are you doing? Take me out. That's why I didn't want to do it. But I... Something shattered in my brain. <laughs> something broke in my brain there. And... Uh, I think that we made the right decision to get out of there before everything was ruined, even if it costs us a key in the future. So let's just pretend that didn't happen and uh, move on with our lives. I don't know what... I, I have no explanation for the events that you just saw unfold. I will say it's a great room for a death card. Oh! <laughs> Alright, something with a spirit heart attached. I, honestly, I can't be too mad about a speed upgrade. Let's move it down to the next floor. 100% chance of a deal with the devil. And a 100% chance, <laughs> dare I say, of a smile on my face if we get a deal with the devil. You just stay away from me, okay? Ooh, I knew he was gonna take a run. We gotta use blue candle more often. I don't know, my I'm so used to having 20 damage off of our last run that my brain is like, never, never use your spacebar item. You don't need it. It's a trap. It's not a trap. And it's not a phase, Mom. I kind of missed out on... Uh, I was I never went through a phase in high school. Like, never a phase of, uh, you know, like an emo phase or a, a scene phase. I was just slightly... Dude, I love the shears. I don't think I can do it because blue candles just got a little bit more utility, but it's close. I just, I, I gotta be honest, I don't like the eyeballs that much. I'm gonna take the boring item, I apologize. But, um, I was just slightly too old, I think, to be likely to be in that emo scene range. Which is not to say there weren't people older than me that were into it. But I think, like, it really took off for, uh, for maybe people that had, like, a, you know, 1990, 1992 birth year, somewhere in that range would be my guess. Just anecdotally based on my location growing up. So I, I do not have any long sleeve sweatshirts with thumb holes cut out in them. I don't have a spiked belt. I'll level with you. I don't think I've ever set foot in inside of a Hot Topic. I'd be open to it. I like weird stores in the mall. Like those stores that sell novelty t-shirts that are just like a joke that doesn't make sense. The shirt just says like, kiss me. I farted. You're like, what? Is that even a... Is there a punchline? That okay? Is the joke that the shirt just says fart? Is that the whole thing? I don't know. I don't know, but I like those stores. They emanate a very strange energy. There used to be a mall... Uh, or sorry, a, a store like that in my local mall. And it was always just called The It Store. I don't know if that was a chain. Just imagine that's one of those names where you're like, nobody knows what it means. <laughs> but it gets the people going. King of walking diagonally. That's me. So we're, we're in spooky territory, okay? We're in spooky territory. I'm not afraid to admit it. Strong men also cry, Mr. Lebowski. Strong men also cry. Screwed that one up quite mightily. Um, really good items. 
what am I doing here? I, I, I think I, in my head, I thought to myself we had not been to the item room. We have, we've been to the item room and we've collected. Honestly, I think that we would have missed. That hurts. That, that's gonna hurt you. Anyway, don't rush. Take a deep breath. Cycle those lungs. Oxygen in. Carbon dioxide out. Oxygen in. Carbon dioxide out. We got good stats, except our HP is a little precious right now. But that's okay. We, we've got at least... Let's be... Just call it like we see it right now. I'm thankful we have enough HP we can't be killed in one hit. Now, we could pretty easily be killed in two hits. But let's not think about that right now. We could also very easily become unkillable by just getting a little cash and going to the shop. Like, that was really good. That, that got me excited there. Um, I'm going to try this. Honestly, I think the number one skill I could learn in terms of, like, becoming a better Isaac player, which is probably not that relevant right now, um, but still. Uh, I think learning to take way more caution and take way less deals with the devil and thus respect HP more. I honestly think that is kind of the missing ingredient to crank our streak back up to the triple digits. Learning to say no to the first deal with the devil, even when it has a good item, is probably, as bizarre as it may sound, I think that might be the number one thing that could really take me to the next level. So I would like to get Steam Sale. Um, be very nice if this was the secret room. Didn't get what we wanted, but it's okay. We only need a little bit more money to begin with. There were no tinted rocks, etc., etc. Um, magic mush, 100% guaranteed. Told ya. Okay, no reason not to have used it, but I, I was temporarily a little scared. This is good. This is this is an adequate boss fight. This is a boss fight we shouldn't be too alarmed by. And really, all we need is like a little HP goes a long way. I really like this run. I like Prism. Rarely is it incredible, but I know we got hit. I'm just trying to keep my <laughs> keep my brain screwed on straight. I wish a spirit heart here would mean a lot to me. Oh, oh it hurts. It hurts a little. It hurts a little. And it hurts a little more than a little. Really? Now you're just messing with me. So at 15 cents, we can buy the Steam sale. But I no longer think that's our game plan. I think we're better off fishing for... I was just going to say, even just like a couple of spirit hearts. If it costs us all of our money, that's kind of A-OK. -okay. It's really just a survival play. Like, we have enough meat to get where we need to go. I think that's pretty much indisputed. And, you know, I probably shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I definitely shouldn't have been doing that, but... It is what it is. Not being able to... I mean, if we had just gone for Spirit Hearts instead of Steam Sale, it's just... It's like an Ashton Kutcher butterfly effect moment. It's like Gwyneth Paltrow in sliding doors. You know? All we needed to know... Why did I say it like that? You know why I've said it like that? Because this is like video 12 today. So back off! You never know what you would have got until you've already passed it. You know what I mean? What if what if we hadn't gotten that chicken bacon ranch from Subway that gave us gastritis, thus causing me to miss uh, the first house party we ever threw in college? Uh, how different would my life be? Probably... Not that much, to be honest with you. Might just have better gut health, but... Hey, that's... That's nothing to sneeze at, dude. Can you just, like... That's not a real story, by the way. It's real to me, dang it. No, it's not even real to me, dang it. Um, bombs, but no tinted rocks. Alright, we'll move along here. Very disappointed to not get uh, the ability to fly, but it is what it is. Here comes an Eternal Heart anyway. Alright, well, an attempt was made. <laughs> We've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas, man.
Coincidentally, to, to tie together a couple of things we're talking about, I think if you were a scene kid, there's like a 90% chance you also enjoyed the film The Butterfly Effect more than me. Again, I'm, I'm speaking specifically from anecdotal data. Um, but I always felt... Whenever I talk smack about that Ashton Kutcher film, The Butterfly Effect, not now, but, you know, back in the mid-2000s when I was like, I don't really like it. Someone in a studded belt with bracers on was always, not braces, bracers, gauntlets. They were always like, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I probably wouldn't like it if I didn't get it either. You know, it's a pretty cerebral film. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a popcorn movie. It's a movie that you really got to think about. That is the, it's, and I, look, I've said this many times in Isaac, you like what you like, you know? I, I'm not here to police, sometimes people ask me, and they, you, you would be surprised, perhaps, but this actually has come up, this is not a straw man. They go like, NL, do you think you have good taste? I think it doesn't matter, you know? I know what I like, and, and some of it is, some of it lines up with what the critics like, and some of it lines up with what the, you know, consumers like, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm content. I'm content being there. Um, I'm, I, don't, I don't concern myself with whether or not my taste is good. Yo, that's an incredible drop. Thank you. However, my main energy that I'm... Oh, let's go, dude. The main energy I'm trying to get across is if the butterfly effect is your favorite movie of all time, rather than have you be like, NL, screw you, dude. You just don't get it, and I don't understand why you're being rude about it. Um, I would much rather you just recognize that, in reality, um, I don't really care what movies you like, you know? I don't consider that a defining element of your personality. Now, the thing I'm going to say just after that, which doesn't nullify it, it doesn't nullify it, but it is always the worst position to be in when you dislike a movie that tries to be very smart and some people were hit by its intelligence another so the butterfly effect was like the number one example when i was a when i was a teenager another one when i was slightly older was the number 23 starring jim carrey and virginia madsen which i think is like a, a truly terrible film um but i think if you saw it at a specific time in your life that never existed for me you, a lot of people seem to have been like, that movie really made me think, and also freaked me out. Holy Light's pretty good, I'm not mad about that. And it had, it's this, I also do not really like the Darren Aronofsky film, The Fountain. And you just always get the exact same thing every time. Well, yeah, it's not an easy movie to get. Like, I understand, you probably just didn't get it. Like, do you get that he, uh, you know, it was him in three different times. Yes, I get that it's him in three different... I understand. Don't worry. I, understand. I like Darren Aronofsky, dude. I just is. It's just. It's just the fountain I don't really like. But I have to admire its ambition, without a doubt. I've been that guy as well. Like I, I'm the guy who, and I, I don't think this is rare. I think this is probably the majority, or at least plurality opinion. Um, I still really like Donnie Darko, and I think it can be frustrating. Oh, we should have taken this first, obviously. Oh, no, I thought that was Steam Sale, um, but still, um, you know, the, the number one criticism you get if you like a movie that thinks it's smart, but other people think it's kind of dumb, you're like, yeah, it was trying to be smart, you know? So I'm, I'm, my, I'm being the, the exact thing that I hate, and I'm willing to admit it. <laughs> but I still think Donnie Darko is great. I got nothing against Donnie Darko. Um, oh, really? I just happened to walk down slightly. I mean, I guess it's not that much different than Monkey's Paw in the sense that they both give us HP. That's one way to look at it, but... Anyway, you get the idea. I probably do find myself on the side of liking... Uh, movies that think they're smart more than disliking them. I always have like arguments like that with Josh, where he... He's like, you seen any Wes Anderson films? And I'm like, Rushmore is one of my favorite movies. And he's like, yeah, I don't really like it. I think that guy thinks he's smarter than me. And uh, as a result, I don't like the movie. And I'm like, all right, well, I mean, 
And then he hits me with the worst. He's like, my favorite Wes Anderson movie, The Life Aquatic. And I'm like, ah, that's my second to least favorite Wes Anderson movie. Ahead of the Darjeeling Limited, but below Bottle Rocket. Anyway, whatever you like, you like. It's, again, I think it's the... If, if you work in critical media as a, as, a, as, as a profession or as a hobby, it is what it is. You know, if you review movies, if you review music, video games, blah, 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 you have to be critical. And I understand that that's separated from, like, the, the populace at large. Um, it is very frustrating as a critic sometimes, if, if I'm going to refer to myself as such. I'm rarely in the critic's shoes, but it happens. And you're like, I don't really think this game is that good. I don't know if you would feel happy if you bought it. And then you get people up in your mentions. Not many, but they're like, you don't understand what you're talking about. You were paid by this game's competitor to slander it. And, you know, you're like, I'm trying to protect you. <laughs> you idiot. But, uh... Apart from that, I think, you know, caring a lot about the media that other people consume is the is the mark of a, a bit of a juvenile attitude, just to be quite frank. And I recognize it because I was there, you know, when I was 16, 17, going to a, a, a sleepy high school in a sleepy town. I identified myself uh, by my differences with my peers. A lot of that was because of, you know, the music that I listened to. And I think that's, you know, a venue of self-expression for, you know, everybody at that age. But, you know, for some people, it's like the clothes you wear or like, you know, the friends you keep. For me, it was like, I like movies that adults like, even though I'm a teenager. And I've carried a little bit of that energy with me into, into my adulthood. But become I'm, I'm happy with myself that I've become uh, less of a snob. I'm still a snob in private, but in public, I'm like, hey, you like what you like. You know, I, I did not enjoy Joker. Um, and, and that is muting my criticism a little bit, to be honest with you. Okay, we swallowed the tick. Like, I more than dislike Joker, but I also understand a lot of people love it. And I think, honestly, I would much rather see more movies that people have like violently different reactions to like they're on completely different sides of the spectrum than movies that everybody agrees are like eh, it's just okay honestly i don't know if i've earned the right to take void i think i've misused it so much recently that we gotta we gotta mix it up we, we gotta put ourselves on void probation <laughs> dude we're getting so many of the same items don't get me wrong, I'm for it, because there's a lot of good ones here. And we are gonna, we're gonna grind here. So this is gonna kick me out to the other room, so let's place a bomb there to hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. This will, it's already ruined our deal with the devil chance, but that's okay. Good stuff. A very, very nice damage increase with merely a small penalty in terms of our overall survivability that we're going to try to work through. And I, I, I've got high hopes that we will. And this, this is definitely shaping up to be another pretty easy win. Like, between Eye of Belial, Prism, and now Judas' Shadow having doubled our damage, we got a lot of heat. I was just about... You jerk. I was just about to use this shop as a learning opportunity to talk about how I probably will be able to afford an item, but wouldn't it be better to just buy five spirit hearts? And you took that away from me, you greedy son of a gun. You took that away from me by mere virtue of your own existence. How dare you? Let me out. Okay, okay. Okay, I honestly saw it happening and did nothing to stop it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think uh, at the end of the day, judging people, you know, drastically for the music that they like, the movies that they like, you know, it, it, if done in jest, it can be okay, but if you're if you're doing it for real, like, oh, I'd never hang out with that person, you know? They listen to uh, John Mayer. You know, I think you got to take a long, hard look at yourself and recognize that, uh, you know, the strength of a person's character is much better than their favorite album of 2015. 
But I mean, it really, really should be to pimp a butterfly. But you know, not everybody's into rap music. You know, some people are of the variety. They're like, I like all music except country and rap. I'll listen to anything, dude. Dude, I'll listen to any music. Country, folk, disco, whatever. I listen to it all, dude. What about a song in a language that's not English? Whoa, dude, you're off the map here. This is crazy. I know some of you right now are like, he's not talking about me. Okay, what about a song that's not in English or Korean? Where we... I know ONL's not pulling any punches today. Okay, we're moving on. Tammy's head was a little bit of a spooky pickup, but I, I stand by it. I think we caught the kind of damage here that can really do some damage. HP is at a... <laughs> HP is at a very precious level. And there's no doubt about that. But all we really... Well, I, honestly, if I had to gauge it right now, I would say that we don't really need anything. Um, a couple of Tinted Rocks would go a long way right now. And of course, you know, the, the kind of dream for, th for this run right now is the Nine Lives pickup. If we get Nine... I don't even think it's worth it, honestly, there. If we get Nine Lives, we are, we are set. And... I don't really see, um, if, I, if I'm if i looking at the way that we've played so far, I don't really see a line that we could have taken to get more uh, survivability, so I'm not, I'm not really mad at myself, to be honest. I'm, I feel like I'm in a pretty okay spot here. Thank God we got a spirit heart. Pop that rules card for essentially no reason whatsoever. Dude, all of our tier effects are finally just dominating now. This is beautiful. I am stunned. I would have bet the farm on you being dead here. I mean, still dead, but it took an extra... <laughs> took an extra half second. I, I just cannot. I, honestly, I wish I, I wish I could. I can't. I mean, I can. Oh, maybe I should have. No. We gotta... I gotta learn to respect hit points, health points. What, what camp are you in there? Look, in a, in a COVID-19 world, I'm really struggling with conversation topics, okay? Please allow me the opportunity to say, are you a, are you a health points or a hit points kind of guy? I'm a hit points, but, you know, in a reality... Reality-based situation, if you force me to think about it, I guess, uh, you know... Health points does kind of make more sense. We refer to it as health. We don't refer to it necessarily as the number of times you can be hit. Depends on the game, but I'd say mostly we'd say health. Hmm. Never really thought about it. Never really challenged my own assumptions and, and biases in that regard this way before. And I think we've all learned something as a result. How about that? And uh, also, cash me outside. How about that? We don't. Uh, people tell me lucky pennies look different, but they. <laughs> I notice no difference whatsoever. So I figure I'll just let's let's do the right thing. Let's do the smart thing and actually pick them up. Okay, we did take a hit. Don't be nervous. You know, you did fine, sweetheart. Just had a chill run down my spine. I realized that earlier today, when I had blank card in the Emperor, I said uh, the only part of the womb that you need to go to is the two boss rooms, because they both give you items. Now I am realizing, of course, that I am the fool. Um, the second boss fight doesn't give you items. I hope that you'll forgive my ignorance and my, uh, my statement, which was steeped in naivete. I apologize. I'm undergoing a deep moment of soul searching right now uh in the hopes of never letting something like this happen again thank you for your your patience your support and my privacy in this time of great upheaval and strife etc etc monetize in all countries apology video dot mp4 and maybe coincide with the launch of a brand new merch line hmm, now you're thinking now you're thinking with hustle. Dust him. He's dusted. 
Nothing can kill us on this run at this point. It, it would take... This is not the kind of run where a single room comes out and, and ruins you. This is the kind of run where if you haphazardly... Like, let's just call it like I see it. I'm very happy to not have an orbital. Because I think if I had an orbital... By the way, do not adjust your television sets. That was indeed the first recorded active intentional use of a Horf pill to accomplish something productively in an Isaac room. Except for get to a secret room. He's actually done it. Um, this is the kind of run where I'm happy I don't have an orbital. Because if I had an orbital, I would start walking into enemies. I would get to Blue Baby on one and a half HP and be crapping myself. So I'm very, very happy to be where we are and to be able to stay a little bit away from enemies. I'll trade four bombs for a Spirit Heart any day of the week in a situation like this. That was a great shot. We did, we gulped the trinket too. Um, yeah, I think just in general, if I could respect HP just a little bit more, which I can, I've just got to build in the muscle memory, right? If I started respecting HP a little bit more, before I knew it, I think we could be, and before I knew it, I mean in 80 days, <laughs> we could be at a triple digit streak. That'd be a nice little feather in my cap, wouldn't it? Don't you put it in your cap, don't you put it in your cap. It's funny. Like, 7 HP, I'm like, I'm invincible. 5.5 HP, I'm like, yo, it's close. <laughs> this, is, this is spicier than I thought it was. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. It's just because bosses are a little tougher for us. Because of the... Uh, our damage stat and the fact that Tammy's head is like our big burst damage dealer. Honestly, Rosary is like insanely nice. Maggie's bow is totally fine. And uh, Leo is, is honestly just straight up terrible. But I can at least use that as an opportunity to go, Uncle Leo! <laughs> you know, from Seinfeld. Uncle Leo! You remember, dude. If you, if you remember, you weren't even there. If you remember your Thursday nights on NBC between 19... 89 and 1997, you weren't even freaking there, dude. I don't remember most of them. That's because I was just a, a wee lad. This, this was pre-Wii U era. The joke was just bad. I apologize. You think... I, I kind of feel like we are going in the wrong way. And you know what? I almost screwed myself up yet again. We were going in absolutely the right way. Little spicier of a run than usual, but can I also... That was such a good card there, thank you. Can I also tell you, we've been making, like, insanely good time today. Every single run that I've done today has been, like, under 30 minutes, I think. Which is, I mean, nice for me from a productivity standpoint, for sure. But also, these runs have had very high damage. They've, they've been flowing quite nicely. Alright, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!